Hey. Oh! Hey, guys! Oh. Hey! What's going on? Uh, pay no attention to this. Yeah. Oh, that looks super cool, oh, nice. actually. On the... Oh! We all have... This is totally not a uh, Sonic branded fidget spinner. We'll get to that. I promise you we'll get to this. We're playing with it. How you guys doing? I have a happy, donut. happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> earlier than normal. Uh, and before we go any further, um, we just, oh, it's much better, much better now. Can you guys hear us okay? How's the audio today? Everything good? Looks... <laughs> Where's Might the mug? Be. It's right here. I promise little... you we got it. It's right Ooh. here. Just a little distracted today, that's all. There we go. Let's lower that a little bit. All right, cool. I, I know we got Studiopolis in the background, but yeah, it's all, it's all good. That's all good. Okay, all right. cool. Hi, everybody. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. How are you guys doing? Happy Hi. Tuesday, which is weird because normally we stream every other Thursday. Yeah. This, this is week, too early. Yeah, it's a special exception this week because, mm. as you guys know, there is a very special show happening this week, which is San Diego Comic-Con. It's coming up. It's almost here. Uh, some of our people have already left for Comic-Con. As of today and yesterday, and we are taking off uh, tomorrow. Explosions. Heading down there. Expl all the, all the Explosions. Hi there. Oh, Everything's hi. on fire. Oh, if you're wondering about uh, Sergio's t-shirt, that was a staff shirt done by T-Turtle. Yep. That we had for E3. So all the Sega staff at E3 had that shirt. It says, like, staff on the back. Yeah. Um, if you guys actually want it, we maybe might release it in the future. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see we'll, about that. We'll grill Alex Kid today with the hard <laughs> questions. Well, we have some special guests today. We are going to talk about uh, San Diego Comic Con. We're going to talk a little bit about the panel. We're going to talk about the vinyl album. There's some new news on that today. We're going to talk about the other things that you can look forward to at San Diego. We're going to have a quick interview with Alex Kid to tell us about the latest and greatest licensing product, including the creation of an official Sonic fidget spinner, which is happening now. Yeah. And also a really, really cool uh, couple of Sonic plush. One of which you saw in the last stream, but we're going to show it again because it's amazing. And it's going to be a Comic-Con exclusive item. Yep. So if you missed it, now's your chance to see it again. It's great. Yeah, basically, we're going to run down practically everything we can talk about for Comic-Con. Yep. Um, we're also going to have a special guest to talk about the Sonic Boom TV show. That's Jasmine. You guys know Jasmine. She's great. And then we're going to play some Sonic Adventure to wrap up today. Mm. So uh, we'll have your questions that we'll answer also as we go through the stream. Please do send us your questions, comments, etc. in the chat as we go through. It gets pretty crazy. Like, just imagine text flying up like that yep. constantly. That's what it's like. But Here, we, try, me, to, we try to grab it when we can. Let me hide this so we can see Twitch. There you hey, go, Twitch. Hey, we can Twitch. see Twitch chat better now. What's up? All right, cool. Oh, man. Well, I guess before we get into Comic-Con... Oh, look at that. Someone's that? birthday. Whose birthday? I'm going to totally butcher your name. Ankush Gogna, one, two, three. <laughs> you have been noticed. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you and to anyone else whose birthday is today or yesterday or in the next 364 days. Happy birthday. You've all been noticed. Um, let's talk about what happened this morning, which is that we revealed mm. a new track on YouTube and across the social channels for Sonic Mania. Mm. And it is called High Spec Robo Go. Uh, it is the official theme of the hard boiled heavies in Sonic Mania. Yep. And it is phenomenal. Every time that we heard this track, like, so we're, we're getting this video ready, we're like listening to the track, and the first time I heard it, I was like, oh, this is like Jet Set Radio. Yeah, like, this it's is like, very Jet Set this Radio. This is a total sounded. Jet Set Radio vibe, and there's a part in the middle like, of the song where it kind of like breaks it down. And, oh. Or like a Sonic Rush style, but it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it's good. The same guy. If you haven't heard it yet, most of you probably have. Go check it out. It's on our YouTube page. It's on Twitter. It's on mm -hmm. Facebook. All the official Sonic channels. We'll be um, playing it a little later on, too, in case you are too lazy to go check out the other pages. Perfect. Totally good. <laughs> if you're super lazy, we're just going to play it at the end of the stream. So there you go. We got you. Um, all right. Well, let's start Let's start talking Comic-Con because there's a lot of news oh, for okay. Comic-Con this year. Yeah. Let me just take a... Take a... Yeah, just a... Uh, sip of my... Take a power ring. Chaos drink there. All let's right. Let's go. So Sonic is going to be all over the place at Comic-Con. As you may have heard, there is going to be something called... Uh, let me make sure I get the sound... Okay. The, the name right. The Sounds of Sonic... Concert, right? That sounds about right. Did yeah. I get that right? I think so. <laughs> Might have got the name wrong. Um, which is going to be an amazing concert. It's really a panel, mm -hmm. um, but it's happening on Thursday night, and it's going to be really, really cool. They've got Jun Sanoe is going to be there to play, uh, as well as uh, Shota Nakama. Shota Nakama, yeah. I, I almost called him Shota Nakamura, and I was like, wait a minute, Nakamura is a different, that's a different Sonic guy. A, that is a different Sonic We like. both almost made that mistake. Yeah. Uh, so th they're both going to be there playing. It should be a really, really fun event. Um, you might see one or two of us there if we can make it as well. So uh, if you want to, yeah. if you want to meet us too, we might be there. But really, you should be going for the music. There's one question I saw getting asked both mm. on in the chats and on actually to my personal Twitter. 
So there's a little confusion about the concert. Is it going to be open to the public, or do you actually need the Comic-Con badge? Mm. There's some conflicting reports on that. Uh huh. And, and the answer the, is? The answer is, you need the badge. As far as we know, you need the yeah. badge. Um, if that changes, we'll let you guys know. Mm -hmm. um, but that one, I think most likely you will need the badge to get into. But again, if, if you don't need the badge, we'll post so you guys can head down and check it out too, even if you don't have one. Yeah, totally. Okay? All right, cool. So that's, that's the concert. Um, on Saturday, we have a Sonic Mania behind the scenes panel. Christian Whitehead, Simon Tomley, Tom Fry, T. Lopes, and Takashi Izuka. Yes, Sergio, we can count to five. <laughs> um, I'm like, Sergio's mirroring my hand. <laughs> um, all five of them are going to be there. Uh, I'll be moderating it. And that panel is going to be really, really cool because we're going to get this behind the scenes look at Sonic Mania. We will tell you guys some stories that have not been told to anyone yet. Uh, some things about the behind the scenes looks at the development of Mania that haven't been shared publicly. Um, we may or may not also have a special surprise or two for the panel. You'll notice we tend to do this with every panel we've done, South by Southwest. Um, I mean, last year is like every, every panel that you go back to, we always try to kind of put something in yep. there to, uh, to say thanks for coming out and for giving up your time to show up. You will need a badge for that one, of course, because that's going to be inside the main Comic-Con Hall. That is in room 24 ABC, I believe is the, is the room ABC. there. You can check it out on the Comic-Con website. It's all there. Uh, but that panel is going to be a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, will it be streamed? So it won't be streamed. Comic-Con has a rule that we cannot stream the panels. Yep. That's their rule. Very unfortunate. Uh, what we were told is that we could take a video of it and upload the video after 24 hours. So I think our plan is going to be to have someone hopefully they're recording. And then for all of you that may not you know, be able to watch someone streaming from their phone or from elsewhere, uh, then you can check it out on our official YouTube page mm -hmm. afterwards, after the fact. That's the plan. So, all right. I think, oh, it's just, you know. Oh, it's the Okay. Uh, it's, it's that guy. It's the boss man. Gotcha. It's that guy. Yeah, just getting getting San Diego text messages during streams. Mm. So that's what we got. Now, let's also talk about the games. How many of you guys would like to play Sonic Mania or Sonic Forces? Now we wait 20, 20 right seconds. Away. Yeah. Just wait. We've already played it, so we're, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we've done it. And wait for it. Wait for uh, it. Where's the, where the yeah? Oh, oh, there, there goes you YouTube. Go. Me, me, me. Uh, there's Twitch. All right, cool. Okay, yes, that's queen. what we thought. So... Whoa, there goes YouTube. It's crazy. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. We got All you. Right, we got you. <laughs> awesome job, guys. Awesome job. If you are at Comic-Con and you are on the uh, the main show floor, you can play Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. We're going to have both, both games playable there for you guys. You can mm -hmm. check them both out. Um, and we really hope you enjoy them. Both teams are putting a ton of effort into these games to make them as good as they can be. Mania is really close now. Mania is coming it's out August 15th. Away. Yeah, I know, right? Mania is August 15th. And um, the slowest month ever. Forces is going to be uh, this holiday, so we haven't put up the official date on that yet. We will soon, but uh, we're pretty close for, for both games. We're mm. coming real close, so pretty exciting. All right, so play both games at Comic Con. Check out our panel on Saturday. Go to the concert, and uh, there yeah. might be some other areas with with Sonic showing as mm. well. Uh, there's going to be. I think we can talk about this now. Can we reveal it? Okay. I think so. I think so. If you Go were ahead. if you were at E3, you might have seen that we had something called the Sonic Ring Jump. This is a Sonic themed activation with a trampoline and a golden ring floating in the air. And if you can jump up and catch the golden ring without yep. falling and missing it, you get entered for a chance to win a thousand dollars, which is kind of cool. One, because you get to bounce on a trampoline in front of a lot of people, and two, because you could win a lot of money if you grab the ring and you're the lucky random winner. Mm. Uh, and I know they already drew some winners. I think they've been giving out the prizes from E3. They're going to be bringing that to Comic Con. So I think it's going to be at the uh, Futurism and Tech Pavilion. Yeah, so I think it's what it's called. I think we got that right. If you go by there, you can check out uh, a giant dome that might be playing some Sonic videos, like our past trailers, um, maybe some other cool stuff. And you can check out the jump activation and enter for a chance to win a thousand bucks, which is pretty cool. So or one of these. That's right. You can buy a lot of copies yeah. of Sonic Mania with a thousand dollars. So yeah. just walk into your, your local video game purveyor. Oh, this is yeah, this is one of the rings actually. Yeah, like, this is actually the one you're going to be trying to grab. So it's going to be yeah. attached on like a harness like that or something. You just grab it. It's made out of very was, great material, so it <laughs> can break apart. Pure gold. It's pure gold, guys. Yeah, what am I talking about? This is pure gold. Look at me. Look, oh, shit. They're all they're all pure gold. They're all pure gold. All right. And if you jump through it, you probably go to a special stage. It's kind of big. If you can fit through that, why don't you try? Good luck on the next part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm cool. in the special stage! 
Okay, so that's <laughs> Comic Con. Uh, other news today: Data Discs, our exclusive partner for the Sonic Mania uh, vinyl album, which we revealed recently, uh, has announced that you can start to order the vinyl album beginning this Saturday. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff coming up for that. We will be talking about it at the mm. Sonic Mania behind the scenes panel. But if you're interested in that vinyl album, which is really really cool. And I'm biased because we've been working on it for a yeah. while now and like designing what it's all going to look like. But it's pretty cool. It is and, pretty and the gatefold art when you open it up is also really cool. So if you're looking forward to that, you can order it this Saturday. Uh, there might be limited quantities on, on some stuff. So stay tuned for that just in case. All right. Be ready on Saturday in case you guys really want one of those. Mm. Um, all right. Sergo mm. is an angle. I'm an angle. <laughs> I am a geometric this, okay. this is this is where you go. I, I can be your angle or your devil. I believe is this is that moment. Devil. I am. Yeah, I'm someone's <laughs> your, angle. Your angle or your devil. Mm. All right. So all right, all right. so data discs. I think that's everything with them. But yeah, check check their stuff out. The vinyl album's oh. gonna be awesome. Well, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna take it serious for a moment here. Okay, what you got? <sighs> it wouldn't be San Diego Comic Con if we don't address the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. You guys have been asking us for quite are, some time. Are we, now. are we doing that now? Are we doing that now? I, I think we we have to. At I this thought point. you wanted me to do that. Okay, well that's fine. <sighs> I'll tell you what, let's. All right, let's. It's it's actually not that much. Um, no, here's okay. here's one other thing we can say. It's not quite as dramatic as uh, Sergio no. may have just dressed up to be. Don't worry. One of the questions that we've been receiving constantly on every live stream and at every panel that we've done is Tails dead? Exactly. The answer is yes. He's dead, yes. Just kidding. The question that we've been getting uh, is, is, do you have any news on the Sonic comics? Can you tell us anything about what's going on there? Uh, and though we don't have any news for you right now, what we can tell you is there's going to be news uh, that will be coming up this week. So we'd like to thank everyone for their patience. Uh, uh, and, and we want to let you know that kind of all of that silence is going to be broken pretty soon. So, so kind of stay tuned for that. So that one's finally off the table. <sighs> We're glad to finally get to tell you guys that there will be some, that is some sort off, of news. Wait off our enough. shoulders. Um, now, let's go ahead. Oh, man. Woo. There they go. Uh, <laughs> there goes Chad. Yep. Tails is probably not dead, by the way. No, it's... he's... Remember, Tails has been entering the plane, the next dimension, if you will, for a good amount of years now. And every single time, after five seconds, he comes back. Oh, yeah. How, yeah. Does, how does Tails fly back on the screen yeah. after he dies? Yeah, that's 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 a thing. He's a, he's a mortal, guys. Relax. <laughs> Please remember that everything in Sonic is canon. So yeah, when everything... you see Tails die and come back to life, there is a reason for that. You should have thought about that. We all should have thought about that in 1992. Mm. Most of us didn't, but the, the writing was there, right on the wall. Let's go ahead and, uh, and and check. Is there anything else, any other major news we haven't talked about before we invite our first guest today? I think that's... Is that it? I think that's everything. Is that everything? Okay. Oh! Oh. Sonic Forces. We will have more news on Sonic Forces coming out this week. Yes. Please stay tuned. Some of you have also been asking us, will you have any more Sonic Forces music? We just mm, might. So stay, stay tuned. Wait and see what we got this week. It's, it's, it's a good week for yeah. Sonic Mania and for Forces. A lot of people want the City Heights theme from Modern Sonic City State. Heights. I don't think we have that one currently in no. on, on our, our schedule of shiny things, but uh, we'll, we'll take that into consideration, certainly. Shiny things. <laughs> That's right. I'll get out of the special stage eventually. Yeah, someday. Okay, Maybe. well, I think, I think we're all good then. All That's right. it for news. If you have any more questions, let's talk about it when we start playing a game yep. in a bit. But first, let me just see if our, our special guest is ready. Mm. Jerry, what are you doing here? Oh. Come on in. <laughs> uh, I opened the door and Izuka-san walked by, and I was like, all right, you can c come on in. He's like, no, 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 <laughs> just, and walks past. Life at Sega, guys. Just oh, casual. Oh, here, here Izuka's. you are. Oh. I, th I thought you were Izuka-san for a second. I heard footsteps. We have a very close resemblance. <laughs> it's true. You just do. You're look about alike. the same height and build. So we get that all the time. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, please. Get I'm going to go try and get out of the special stage. Hopefully, luck, get buddy. a Chaos Emerald. Okay. okay. Thanks, sir. Bye, guys. Please give a warm welcome to our first special guest today, a man you all know and love. He's very small. He's not very strong, but we still appreciate him. His name is Alex Kidd. Welcome to the show, Alex. All true. Still All true. Very small <laughs> and ineffectual. Yes. Still, still clapping for yourself, I see. Someone's got to do it. And I can't hear them, but I know they are. So, 
<laughs> we, like, we like to believe that all these names in the chat are... <laughs> Hi, yeah. Alex, please sell me things. <laughs> okay, I can do that. I've got a lot of stuff to sell you. So, uh, But I do have one quick question before we start. Yeah, yeah. Is Tails dead? We just covered this. We just covered it. Oh, I was working. I didn't, you know. So it, is it confirmed that he's not dead? He's dead. Don't tell them. He's not dead. Everything's no. fine. Wow. Everything's um, fine. Hey, let's keep, makes, let's keep, yeah, let's keep moving know. on. Yeah, so uh, this makes this next part a little awkward, but... Uh, oh, what you got I here? saw a post you guys had the other day. Yeah? And I just wanted to let you guys know that uh -huh. these very same emojis in plush form are available at Toys R Us right now for twelve ninety nine. I love them. I yes. Love, he's got little tails. See, he's got little tails on the back. You too can own a Memorial Tails plush. Yeah. Um, this is the only time you can buy this. We'll be discontinued. Before <laughs> we stop making Sonic people, Tails merch. People are going to actually believe dead. us at some point. They're going to be like, Tails is dead. Sonic official confirms. I'm, I'm waiting for the uh, <laughs> the articles on IGN and GameSpot. <laughs> Sega confirms Tails is dead. Is Tails dead? <laughs> well, we uh, also, Drool on this on this guy here. So it's it's really nice. It's kind of fun. Yeah. We did get a certain guys. reputable news source talking about us slightly earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. We actually we got a we got an article on uh, the Onion today about wow. Sonic, which was unexpected. The rumor rumor apparently being that Sonic um, may be taking place in a computer simulation. <laughs> I don't even know where to be in on. <laughs> which is a bit outlandish. I know. Yeah. That is absurd. Mm. We went ahead and uh, checked in with Sonic, and we were able to kind of publish a, a response article to them. So if you check on Twitter or Facebook. On, okay. on their on their page, you'll find our response. So, oh wow, enjoy. This, these are cool though. These are but Toys they are R Us. Cool. Toys R Us, twelve ninety nine. Cool little guys. Uh, but I just thought since you guys did that post, thought I'd show these guys. So, and we've got more of those coming in the next few months as well. Yes, we'll talk about. The, all right, we'll talk look, about the spinner. He's been. It he's looks been, cool like that. Look at that. He's been doing that in my face the entire yeah. day. He'd just come <laughs> around my desk and just spin it in my face can, like that. Can we get a Sonic hero? I, I will admit, I'm like. I'm late to the I party. like that idea. Oh. I think we can talk about it. A Sonic Heroes. So, I don't. I don't know if the hero is branded, but I wonder who could have come up with such a strange concept. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Well, clearly what? it wasn't Aaron. <laughs> but uh, this fidget spinner here is available on Amazon right now for fourteen ninety nine. So there are a lot of pretenders on Amazon. <laughs> A lot of unofficial Sonic Fidget Spinners. Alex? Please don't buy those. <laughs> <laughs> Alex has, uh, regardless Alex of how has cool they are. I think you've got a message for all the, the fake Fidget Spinners out there, right? Yeah, we're coming for you. <laughs> You're going down, fake Sonic Fidget Spinners. <laughs> I'm going to send so many cease and desist letters, you have no idea what's coming. I'm going to spend days <laughs> on these cease and desist letters. But this one is real. <laughs> Uh, it's by uh, Buckle Down, so make sure the sellers buckle down. They actually do a lot of cool Sonic products, and um, that's right, you are going down, Fakers. <laughs> and uh, but yes, if you want your very own Sonic Spinner, this is also available on the Comic Con floor if you're going to be there. Oh, cool. Okay. So they'll be at various like you know those big booths where they sell everything. There'll be a few of those as well, as well as some other Sonic products. But I wanted to feature this one because I know they are so hot right now. Just this is actually fidget spinners are just crazy. Ooh. This is the first fidget spinner that I've actually played with. Really? First yeah, ever. I, I was totally behind the trend. Minus you don't have little cousins or nephews? I guess no, you're, man. You're, you're, you're over here. I got, I, got, there. I got some nephews back in um, yeah. like Missouri and stuff like that. Like mm. uh, Not nephews, but uh, cousins and mm. cousins. But. Yep, mm. anyway. Anyways. Shameless. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> well. All right, we ready? Let's, of, let's move on to the next one. Let's move on. I like this one. So I think you guys remember this guy. Uh, it, it's a girl. It's a girl. Or it's a girl. Or is it Jules? I don't, no, I don't know the whole Kitty rules. Hello, it's, Kitty a it's a girl. She's a girl. She's a real, she's girl. A real girl. Okay. Well, this shiny new lady Sonic Hello Kitty <laughs> is available on the Comic Con floor exclusively uh, at the Toynami booth for forty dollars. So if you guys are at the convention, come check it out. Buy it. They will go quickly. What, so, do you know how many of these are going to be sold on the show? I do not know the number, um, but I know the Supersonics last year went pretty fast. So, yep, there there it is. Hello. Right up close and personal. Hello. Come on. Hello, friend. It's so um, shiny. It's so soft, too. Yes. It's so huggable. And I think I've got one last thing to talk about, which is this shirt. Oh. So, um, as you guys all know, I'm sure um, Sonic Mania is coming out August 15th. And so we've been working hard over at Licensing to make sure you guys have some cool Sonic Mania merch hmm. um, available for the game. 
So for the next five weeks up until launch, we will be launching a new Sonic Mania shirt every week on Amazon. This was the first one. We have another one going live either uh, today or tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, but they will be releasing every week up until launch. Cool. How much are the shirts? Uh, this one is 25 um, and we are working on the pricing for the next couple ones. Cool, cool. It'll likely be around there. Question for our viewers yes. that may not be living in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, are there limitations on certain countries? I think is it, it's just the U.S. to begin. Is that right? Or so, so yes, the U.S., um, they will, there will be some shirts available in, um, in the U.K. Great. Yes, so right. it's, it's a little different rules over there. Things take uh, a lot longer on Amazon for approvals. Mm -hmm. um, but for these ones, we're able to get them up uh, every week up, up until launch. Cool. But we will have a couple shirts up in the uh, UK as well. Awesome. So, so, so new t-shirts every week as we get every week, launch? And we will okay. have additional merchandise coming out a little closer to launch. What does that mean? So, uh... I'm just kidding. Don't, don't spoil us. I mean, I won't spoil it, but uh, there will be some really cool Sonic Mania stuff coming out. Um, we're working really hard on it right now. Um, but we sh that should happen in uh, early August. Cool. I think. So. Awesome. Yeah, we're all working hard here. Uh, you guys are working hard on, on the Twitter and the, and the social stuff. I don't even know what a Twitter is. Me um, either. Alex, could you tell us though what what uh, is going on? Is there something with the Glam Glow happening at Comic Con this weekend, or is that? Yes, I wanted to save that for last. Oh. So. Just kidding. Spoilers. You didn't, you didn't hear that from yes. me. Yes. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, since we're doing all these amazing things at Comic Con, which I think you listed earlier, we, did. Uh, we actually got Glamlow to swing by our section in the Tech Pavilion, mm -hmm. and uh, they are going to be applying Glamlow masks, the Sonic Blue version, um, to fans uh, on Friday and Saturday. So if you guys are in Tech Pavilion checking out the the dome activation, anything else on Friday or Saturday, um, come check it out and get get your face done, just like uh, me and Sergio did. Uh, you can or cannot rip your shirt. I'm not going to say you can't. <laughs> Because uh, I try. did it, so we, that'd be We won't stop you. Yeah, we won't <laughs> stop you. I don't know what security will do. I'm not sure how they feel about it, but mm. I've seen shirtless guys and and ladies really and walking around Comic Con. I've so. seen shirtless guys at Comic Con, and I was just like, nope, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. So do what you will, but uh, <laughs> Glamwell will be there, and we'll be doing some cool stuff with them. Cool. So um, yeah, we're all working really hard and uh, on Comic Con stuff, as I know you guys are. And also, if you guys really like the Sonic Forces shirt. Um, Sergio was wearing. We're, that was our E3 staff shirt, and will also be our Comic Con staff shirt. But if you guys want something similar, um, just put something in the comments here. I'll take a look, and then maybe I talk to Teacher all about launching something for forces. Mm. Cool. Yeah. And that's it for can me. You, can you check those plushes over there, quick? Sergio, take this. Hide it. I heard you. I'm right here. I, do you actually want the plushes, or were you distracting me? I, no, I was just distracting you. Mm, okay. Look cool. how great these are. Next time I'm just gonna tell you something out, like Jerry's back or something and he's outside and that'll <laughs> that'll get your attention real quick. Yeah, that would really get my attention. The Jerry I would saga have to, I'd part have to two. take this chair with me, so because <laughs> something would go down. But um but thanks for having me guys. Yeah, thanks um, as always, my friend. Yes, That's and I will go get your next guest. Thank you. So All appreciate right. it. Everyone, See please, you guys at Comic Con. Please tell Alex thank you very much for joining right. us today. Bye. Alex will be there maybe Saturday. Is that Saturday right? I will be there. Alright, you can meet Alex Kidd in person on Saturday. At the Futurism and Tech Pavilion, is that right? Yes, and I'll be around other places too. You'll find me, but okay. I'll mostly be there. Look for the really tall guy. He's seven foot eight. <laughs> At least, no, seven five. Uh, sorry, seven five. Look yeah. for, he's pretty tall. Spot him, be like, that's Alex Kidd. Just like the video game. All right, next we have a guest joining us. Before we get into the games today, to talk about the latest Sonic Boom TV show episode, please give a warm welcome back to Jasmine. What's Yay. up, Jasmine? I'll clap for you. Thank you. I didn't clap for Alex because he was clapping for himself and it felt a little selfish. Mm. You know. Rude. How you doing? Good. Good. What? Good. Hmm? Where's what? Sonic though. Oh, you mean the cursed oh. the cursed plus you left. Oh. Listen, Jasmine, we want to talk about that. We burned it. Again. Why would you do that? Uh, well, um, I put a lot of hard work into that. Yeah, I'm, it was I'm, like five days I know, of like after work going. I'm home really look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Jasmine, it was cursed, and you need to like it was. I'm promise you, this thing was cursed. We had to burn it. There was really no other option. You've seen the horror movies. You know what happens when you don't burn it, and the movie only ends when the cursed doll is burned. We did what had to be done. I'm really sorry though. 
I'm processing this. Yeah. Give me a few seconds. That's okay. We'll we'll talk about the TV show in a second. Okay, but this is outside. Here, scoot, scoot over this for a little bit. So you're actually, I'm I gonna... think this is for you. What's that? This was outside the door. I picked it up. Uh, just now? Yeah. Uh, I nearly tripped over it while fan, I was on. Fan we probably shouldn't open fan stuff on, on the stream, but... Um, um, I'd like to, to ask the chat, should we, should we, open, should we open this live? Uh, yes or no? Let's scared. see what the chat votes. I just want to... I want to see... Now I know, thankfully, there's no way... Yeah, okay, good. This, <laughs> Open it, small. open it, open it. Twitch says yes. You do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's 50-50 on YouTube. Oh, you, okay, no. it's definitely more yeses now. I oh, my goodness. Open. There's a lot of yeses happening at the moment. Yeah. There's a lot of yeses. Maybe it's cookies, man. I might be cookies. Actually, you know what? I, I like cookies. If this is cookies. <laughs> All right. We're going to open this. Here we go. You guys ready? Let's do this. Inside it's very exciting. They're all cookies. It's not cookies. What is that? It's a cloth of some sort. A shirt? Uh, no, no. Oh. It's some sort of a. It is a shirt. Sort of a fiber. Maybe. Here. Let's just see what we've got. Just... Oh my god! Ah! So you guys didn't! Ah! Get that out of here! It's so beautiful. Why are you lying? You didn't burn it. It's clearly not burned. Chess with me. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Did you really just find that outside, Jasmine? Yeah, it was outside in the hallway. <laughs> There's a point at which this goes from being a prank to being real, Jasmine, and I worry that we're... Oh, wait. I it's think you should wear it. It's so cute. <sighs> Not cursed. Hashtag teen choice. Is it really shamelessly plugging voting for the show? I don't know. I don't know how to react to this. Be nice. Someone says be nice to the doll, Aaron. <laughs> Oh, now your oh, cup is cursed. Goodness. It might be. Where'd my chaos emerald go? Did Alex take it? I don't know where it's oh. <laughs> did it, Wait, did Alex take... Chat, did Alex take my chaos emerald? Or did someone else take it? You guys must have seen it. Who took it? And if, it, if Alex took it, I need to hear Alex took it. So I, so I know. Okay, let's see. Yes? What is the song? Oh no. <laughs> no one knows. Someone, someone took my chaos emerald. Where is it? Oh man, Eggman. Egg <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll accept Eggman. Well, Jasmine, my Pollock. I guess let's talk about this now. This is the Sonic Boom. Hashtag not cursed. Hashtag choice animated TV show. T-shirts. Yes. Wow. It looks like it. It is so. It so appears to be. Thank you to the random person, whoever you might have been. It's very beautiful, thank you. Angry Sandra, who probably sent this my way. It's probably Angry Sandra. It's probably Angry Sandra. Being angry again. Well, thank That's you. A, thanks, Angry Sandra. And not Jasmine. Not Jasmine. No, it wasn't me. Totally not Jasmine. Oh. Jasmine, why don't you tell us about uh, this week's episode of the Sonic Boom TV show? Okay, this week's episode is Return Return of the Buddy Buddy Temple of Doom. And this is... That was another season one yeah, episode, Yeah, season one episode. Um, this... They don't really go to the temple that is in season one. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, like an adventure episode. So what happens is that Eggman decides that he needs to build himself a mech suit to compete with Sun. So he builds himself one. Yeah. Very powerful, high powered. Turns out he can't power it. Power it because it needs too much energy. So he decides to go find this tunnel crystal to power it up. Gotcha. So he's after a power source. Oh, here we go. We got screenshots. I'm guessing it looks it looks a little bit like the uh, Egg Walker, doesn't it? In the in the that way, the top left, <laughs> a little, little like almost like a Sonic 2 evolution, a little more buff than uh, than fat. 
He's talking yeah. with Amy? Jeff Egg Robot, you yeah. can Egg Walker is well, the like Sonic Adventure. Oh, that's true, that's true. He's talking to Amy because he's had a hard time battling Sonic, and he's feeling kind of low, so... He's, I'm trying to give him what's, some advice. What's Tails' hat? The chat is actually commenting. What's... Is that... That's not what I think it is, is it? You have to watch to find oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The, the greatest partnership no one saw coming? That I'd be okay with that. That'd be cool. Uh, well, we know we know which team Tails is. That's for sure. Yeah. There we go. Instinct that's cool. for life. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. It's it's really too bad he doesn't survive after the next three episodes. Uh, we we timed everything so the show has yeah. the same moment with Tails as the games do. So yeah. it's, it's gonna be an interesting. I see moment. a lot of people commenting uh, Valor. Oh, we got a gang war going on in both chats. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we started <laughs> something accidentally with the screenshot. One year later. And, and that episode's coming up uh, this Saturday? This Saturday at 6 p.m. on Boomerang. On Boomerang. Awesome. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. anything else you want to mention while you're here? Well, um, the Dome at Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. We're having a special screening of Robots from the Sky. Cool. So you'll be able to experience Robots from the Sky in this 360. Like a giant projection? Yes, a giant projection. That's cool. So and that's that... on Saturday, and it starts at 4 p.m., and then we'll um, probably have more um, screenings after that. That's also at the Futurism and Tech Pavilion, right? Yes. I've said that like 12 times yeah. today. I just yeah. want to make sure we're getting it right so people know where to go. Uh-huh. If you're at Comic-Con, the Futurism and Tech Pavilion on Saturday, you can watch that four-parter episode. Yes. And I think the other days it's going to have some Sonic stuff there, too. Yeah, the other days it'll just have, like, the trailers and everything. Awesome. And then on Saturday it's the complete Sonic takeover. So cool. we'll have the trailers plus the robots from the sky. Cool. And maybe one, one last plug, too. I think, the, is the voting still going on? Yes, the voting is until tomorrow. So you still have time to vote. One more okay. day! Teen Choice Awards. So if you guys want to vote uh, for Sonic Boom in the Teen Choice Awards, uh, which we would all love very much, please... Go check out our tweet on that. Uh, we've actually got a picture of it there. Look at that. There it is. Uh, and that's really hard to see, I know. Yeah. Uh, you retweet that tweet to get the right hashtags, or you can make your own tweet. Just make sure you get the correct hashtags to make it count for voting in the Teen Choice Awards. And uh, and we appreciate all the votes. I know that have been coming in. The TV team has been super excited. Yeah. As have all the voice actors and everyone involved in the show has been really stoked for this. So thank you very much to everyone that has been participating and, uh, and retweeting to try and make that happen. Thank you. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Well, I think that's everything we've got then. Mm-hmm. Anything else? No. Also, All right, guys, please say thank you to Jasmine for stopping by today. Uh, and no thank you to whoever sent us this, this shirt. This it's is disturbing. No, thank you. What? Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Uh, it's getting weird. It's beautiful. All right. Thanks so much, Jasmine. All right. All right. Have thank a good you. one. Bye. Yep. See you later. Bye. Why does this keep happening? It's because you you angered it, man. I'm going to have to burn this. This is the only way. It's it's really the only way. This I'm gonna don't tell Jasmine. Please don't tell Jasmine. I'm gonna have to burn this. Put it on. No, I'm not gonna put this on. This is cursed. Cursed image right here. Cursed. 100% cursed. Oh man. Oh boy. Jasmine's cool, but this shirt. I don't know about this shirt. I still blame Sandra for this. Yep. All right. Now I think. We got about uh, 25 minutes to play yeah. some games here, yeah? Let's do it. Let's answer yeah. some questions from you guys. We're going to play. What are we playing today, Sergio? Sonic Adventure? Well, first off, I'm back from the special stage. And the good news, got a Chaos Emerald. You took my. Oh my god. No, I didn't take it. This is my own. Oh, is it? I'm yeah. sure. Okay. I'm sure it is. It's my Chaos Emerald. I won it by getting all the blue spheres. Uh huh. I'm sure you did. Here. I'm sure you did, Sergio. Right, full, right where it belongs. <laughs> He stole my cast, Emerald guys. I didn't steal anything. I, I, was can, I can one. never, I can never trust him again. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and boot up the game. Unfortunately, we have some very epic music playing, but it's time to Ugh. give it a okay. Give it a little pause. Let's see what we got today. Sorry, perfect dark Gaia. Well, let me start up the game first. Hold your questions for one second until we launch the game, and then we'll start going through them. Yep. Thanks for your patience. There we go. All right, now you can stop playing today when we get all the emblems, which I believe is 130? 198. In the original adventure, is that right? No, oh, it's 130. It is 130, right? Yeah, 130. Uh, that number just was like in my mind from 10 or 15 years ago. It's kind of crazy. All right, let's go to here. There it's been go. a long time. I, I had the original version of Adventures, so when I got all the emblems, nothing there happened. There it goes. That's what I, I was very really disappointed. Good. Got it? Uh, we got a lot of screen space here, so we can go like that, like that. You can probably scoot that one over a little bit more to the right. 
Let's scoot this here. That's Rose good. on the Sonic Team logo. There you go. That's, that's yeah, we good. We don't need to see yep. their avatars. Okay, yeah, perfect. Sweet. All right, now I can see you, chat. We can start answering some questions. All right, we got 25 minutes, folks. Let's do this. Let's go through some questions right now. Okay. Uh, game audio is a good, guys. We want to make sure we're not blowing your eardrums out. It should be fine. I have it pretty low. So. Someone says, how does someone go getting a t-shirt partnership with you guys like T-Turtle does? Uh, it's a good question. So T-Turtle uh, had some Sonic shirts that I think existed before then, but not quite in a legal manner. And so um, by working with them, we were able to make everything kosher and, and actually make it um, legal. So that goes through our licensing team. People like Alex, for example, um, could pass along if you have like a t-shirt website or you've got a popular area that lots of people go to and you want to have some licensed Sonic merchandise, um, send in a request or like hit us up on Twitter or stuff like that and we can try to pass you along and uh, get you in the hands of the right people and they can take a look at it. It's not a guarantee, but you can at least maybe start discussions and kind of go that way. So, hopefully that's answered. What else we got? A Sonic Forces vinyl. No news on a Sonic Forces vinyl right now. Uh, and I don't have any news that I'm aware of, of any plans for one currently. But we'll start with Sonic Mania. Mania is kind of like the test run. If the Sonic Mania vinyl does amazing, then that will bode well for potential future vinyl releases. But right now, uh, if you want the Sonic Mania vinyl, please speak with your wallets. And hopefully a lot of sales for that will help convince people that we should do more of these. Uh, what else we got? I did see a question earlier. Uh, yeah. Do we have any plans of releasing the Mania soundtrack on anything other than a vinyl? Because Yeah, it's a good question. We are in discussions on that right now. I don't have any concrete word for you as to a yes or a no, um, but we are talking about it. That's, that's the most I can say right now. And yep. we're releasing a lot of it on YouTube. We've been putting out uh, a couple tracks already. There will be more tracks to come. Uh, we'll get some Mirage Saloon at some point in the future. Uh, and some other new tracks that you haven't heard yet, which we're pretty excited for. Nice jump. Oh, oh, oh you missed it? That actually was a death <laughs> plane. No, I got it, but there was oh, a death really? plane there. Oh. Huh? You have to, like... Do you have to go down slowly? Something like that. There you go. Get the camera to snap in place. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right through the raft. All right, take three. Oh, Those yeah, are practices, guys. Oh, man. All right, one more. Awesome. One more. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Come right on. Right about Caleb. here? Yeah, that should be good. Bonk. No! <laughs> you really, you just. <laughs> All right. I don't want to take the ladder because the ladder's slower. Uh, yeah, well, the ladder's slower, but you wouldn't die four times, so let's see. I don't know about that. It is Sonic Adventure. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Come on. Slow come landing. On. Yay. Hey. See? It's, it's got like, it. It's like that rocket they tried to land on the we ship. We got it. It blew up four times, <laughs> and then they did it. <laughs> we finally got it. Oh, you're getting close to the end here, aren't you? Yeah, we start. have to blow up E-105 Zeta, and then we have to go take down Zeta. Yeah. yeah. Uh, someone Fallon says, Aaron, if you were placed into a Sonic game as a villain, what would you beard look like? Ooh. Um, hmm. Mighty beard. Hmm. It's tough because it would either be like the single point, like it would go out and then point in a very villainous beard, or could even do like the dual points. I don't know. I can't. Point. Yeah. <laughs> or it could just be crazy and like spiral out, curl a little bit. That could be fun too. What else we got here? Someone says, ever thought of playing Billy Hatcher? Uh, we played Billy Hatcher, but not on, on this on the live stream. stream. Ah, we'd have to... We'd back, have... back when we did we didn't have a capability to do the GameCube. Uh, yeah, we still, have, we still yeah. have to buy a GameCube. Yeah, so one of the one of the things that uh, huh. we both played, I think you played Billy Hatcher, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got that game for GameCube and enjoyed it quite a bit, like the Sonic eggs and all the little Easter eggs in it. It's a hard game, by the way. Billy Hatcher is serious business later in the game. I think it's the carnival area was where I was just like, I got destroyed. Back me up if you remember that. I think that was... That yeah, was where the carnival really was starts getting really rough. Yeah. I got to the final level and I never really cleared it past that. Ooh. <laughs> Someone says you guys should play Sonic Dream Collection on Steam. It's a great game. Oh, we know about this Dreams Collection. Never heard of it, actually. I have no idea uh, what you're talking, talking about. about. Uh, uh, but you know what is great? Another game made by the same developer is called right. Generic Platformer 3D. That's a great game. What else we got? Aaron and Sergio, what are your favorite zones? Ooh. You want to go first? Uh, you go ahead first. I have to mull it over a little bit. 
it's important to note that uh, don't read into these at all. Like these aren't hints or anything for for like upcoming zones or something in Mania. Like none, none of this is just us thinking. I would say, man, one of my favorites is Ice Cap uh, because of that snowboard sequence in the beginning. And totally not because of the music. Well, the music is great too, and the whole bouncing later on in the level where you like there's a secret part where you bounce up and all the rings. Oh yeah. Um, it's really fun, and I also like the fact that you can get frozen into like a little Sonic sickle if you stand under the things. Like I, I thought that was really neat. <clears throat> now, when you say zone, what I'm wondering, does this include like the three levels, which most of them usually aren't called zones anymore? That's fine. Yeah, you can include that. Whatever you want. Hmm. That is a really tough one. Then. So I'm going to divide it by uh, 2D, 3D. Yep. 2D. Hmm. Choose. Choose. I must choose. Choose quickly. I can't say Hidden Palazzo. That'd be a giveaway. Uh. Crap. Hmm. You got nothing? I got nothing. Wow. Mm. That's incredible. Uh, no, I don't want to say Sky Sanctuary. That level is too long. <laughs> I like Sky Sanctuary. That was pretty fun. I think on, as far as 3D levels go, one of the, the best ones... Oh, come oh, back! Almost one of the best ones for uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Frenchie! Uh, Take me away. I really liked Metal Harbor. I know not everyone might agree with that, because it was a really hard level to get an A rank on, but the music and the way the level play was fun. Uh, yeah, that A rank is miserable. Yeah, I didn't realize about the whole <coughs> rocket trick until mm. later, so... I got it without getting the rocket trick, which is remarkably difficult, and I did like 20 playthroughs or more to get, to get there finally, but it was pretty tough. You know, I'm actually going to go with uh, Sonic 3 Doomsday. Oh, Doomsday, yeah. Very Doomsday's awesome. iconic stage. That was that was such an epic like ending for the Sonic, especially with like, you're doing Sonic 3 and Knuckles, right? You, yeah. get, to, you get to that ending. It's the culmination of everything you've been working towards. Oh, don't fall. Uh, you can't fall here, I think. This reminds me of Virtual Cop. I don't know why, but I'm getting like strong Virtual Cop vibes seeing this again right now, which I played a lot of on my Sega Saturn. We did have a few Saturn themes out today on the stream. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. All right, let's take some more questions. What do we got? I'm going to take some from the other chat now. Yeah. Will Sonic Mania have a level creator? Uh, no, I don't think so. Making a game with a level creator, uh, as other publishers can tell you, is a monstrous amount of work. Oh, and yeah. it's, a, it's a totally different beast. So it's not like you're just like, oh, just put a, let's put a level creator on that. There you go. Yep, pack it up, Bob. It's good. Yep, no, uh, it's... Just tighten up the graphics on <laughs> level three, and you're yeah. pretty good to go. Just throw that level creator in there. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. So no level creator in Mania. I wish it did. As far as we Then we'd know. all be in game dev. Hey, that'd be cool. Let's see. What else we got? Any news on the Sonic movie? Asks something Ray Girl. Uh, sorry, I missed your username. Uh, no news on the Sonic movie right now. There might be news in the future, but it'll probably be a little bit. So keep keep waiting. Thanks for waiting patiently. Long way to go on that one still. Yep, they're still, still working hard on it. Ooh, secret area. What else we got? Will you play Skies of Arcadia for a future stream? Asked. Oh, I think it was Luke, that'd be so Luke good. Born. Um, maybe if we if we lock in our next uh, extra live stream when we're doing like a 24 hour stream, I think it's the perfect time to maybe introduce some of you guys to uh, one of Sega's best RPGs ever created, Skies of Arcadia. It's a fantastic game. It's good. It's Personally, one of, one of the best. If we can get that down too, I want to see if we can uh, do a challenge mode on Fantasy Star Online. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna geek out a little bit. How many of you guys have played Fantasy Star Online? How many of you guys know what PSO is? I just want to see if I'm like, if I need to explain this to you guys, or if most of you in chat know about it. How many of you know PSO? Oh, he's got little Dreamcast on him. He <laughs> does have a little dream. <laughs> so good. That's a lot. There's a few no's and a few yes. Me, not me, not me. Okay. All right. All right. I'll explain Fantasy Star Online to you guys real quick. And if you're a Sonic fan, Fantasy Star Online is topical to you because Fantasy Star Online for the GameCube was one of the only ways to get a Tails Chow. I'm being serious. There was an Easter egg in one of the missions that would allow you to unlock a Tails Chow. He looked like Tails, but he's a Chow. It was amazing. Cute. It was through PSO. And uh, getting PSO on the Dreamcast was the first way you can play Sonic Adventure 2. Which is why I bought it. Which is why I think that's, most people that's bought why it. I bought PSO was to get my Sonic Adventure 2 demo, and then realize later, right. oh, this game is really fun. Um, there we go. Good luck. Final boss fight. All right. Most emotional story in this game. I cry every time. I cry. While Sergio is going through this, I'm just going to explain PSO for you guys real quick. PSO was one of the first online console RPGs in the world. It was played on dial-up machines on our Dreamcasts, 
And it was remarkably fun. It had an auto-translate feature in it, so you could talk to people from across the world with specific messages, and it would translate into their language and vice versa back to you. So you could communicate with people. You could have a team with you in like the US, someone in Japan, someone in the UK, and someone in France. And you could all be working together and understanding what each other was trying to do and say. It was so cool. It was absolutely revolutionary. I played PSO for like seven years of my life. It's the reason I started at Sega at later with Fantasy Star Universe. And the original PSO on GameCube, the second, it's like the second or third version, um, you could play offline multiplayer. And so one of the things that we're thinking of doing is maybe streaming some PSO here at Sega and maybe like showing you guys what it's like or doing like a, a challenge mode run so you can watch us succeed or fail. It, it'll be fun. Uh, someone's like, EverQuest, LOL. Uh, yeah, EverQuest was PC, but PSO was one of the first to really do it on console. The cheating was horrendous, by the way, because they had no anti-cheat measures really back in that in that time. So it <laughs> got pretty rough on like, it was like uh, the yeah. Wild West. Hopefully that those of you that know PSO, hopefully that's that's done a service to at least the base what the game is. Real-time combat, you can't button mash or you die. And uh, it's got a lot of really cool classes and features to it. Oh go, Sergio! Nice, shooting out the, the energy beams. He's just got he's summoning confetti when he does that. Look at that. Oh, look at all that. All right, what do we got here? Can you give me a fist bump? I don't know if you can see it. There you go. That was a double fist bump. That was a reference to that song, I think. Ever thought of playing Samba de Amigo? Man, if we can get the maracas. That'd be sweet. Get a, Sergio, find the maraca <laughs> stuff for the Dreamcast, then we're good to go. All right, let's get it in the budget. <laughs> Why not? We have to get a GameCube now anyway. So it says, help me, PSO2. Sorry, no news, no no, news on PSO2, that. No PSO2, believe us. We, we, we nerd out a lot of a PSO, but we, we're a totally different team from uh, all the rest of it. We're all Sonic here. What else we got? Favorite vocal Sonic song? Endless possibility. Living in the city. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a pretty good one, actually. Shout-outs uh, to TJ Davis. I, I oh. really enjoyed the Sonic R soundtrack. It was quite fun. Aaron is dead. Am I? Oh, is this how I find out? Through the chat? Yeah. Well, oh, no. You've been dead. Oh, here we go. He's shaking. He stopped shaking. All right. Bye, beta. Oh. <laughs> he's wah, wah, wah. This kind of like turns and falls. Gravity suddenly has an effect. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Wait, what? Oh, God. Oh. Uh, oh, he faked him out. Gamma, no. Oh, no. Gamma. Oh, gamma. Don't die. Taking him down with him. It's a bird. All right, spoilers. Close your eyes if you don't want to know the ending to look, Gamma's story. Look away, chat. It's too much. No, Gamma. No. Bible thumb. No, bird. Gamma. Top, top ten anime deaths. Top ten anime deaths. This is number two, at least. We couldn't rank that on our, on our list because this is too traumatic. Oh, oh. Oh, Gamma, no. Gamma. Oh, Gamma. There's the moment. Oh, no. Oh. Sad piano music. Good night, sweet prince. Simple tune. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> You're crying. <laughs> You're all crying. It just like slowly pans uh, away as he explodes. <laughs> like, mm, no. <laughs> F. <laughs> Pre press F to pay respects. Goodbye, Gamma. We all love you. You should really be G for Gamma, probably. G. And you think you're like, oh, that's it? I, I like, I died. <laughs> That's the end of it? I blow up? And then, there it is. Then, Yay! He's not really dead. Hey. He's free. I always thought that was such a nice moment. It's like, you're like, oh, and then the, the birds reunite. And you're like, yes. Yay. Feels good, man. Feels hey, good. I, re I recognize some of these names. Hey, look at that. Song. Yeah. It's the Sonoy song. I'm going to see him this week. Oh, he's a good song. Yep. Takashi Izuka. Oh, there's that troublemaker. Oikawa san again. Kazuyuki Hoshino. Oh, Hoshino san's in here. Mm. Troublemaker. He's probably watching this at his desk crying, too. He's laughing. <laughs> I killed Gamma. 
He's like, Shh, I was Elliot in Nights and no one ever knew. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all these secrets that no one knows That's about. all over the internet. Let's answer some more questions while we go through the credit. Thanks for sharing that moment with us, everybody. It's a very, it's a sad moment. We just bonded, chat. Oh, okay. What else we got? You can stop. You can stop spamming. Right, uh, G's and F's at this good. point. Thank you. Gamma's alive. Okay. Will Sonic Unleashed be porting on PC? I think we answer this every week, every other week. Uh, no news on a Sonic Unleashed port at this time. If we if we have any news, we'll certainly let you guys know. Uh, here's a question from Aaron and Sergio. What's your favorite non-Sega game? I wish we could answer that for you, but I don't think we can. Unless we call it generic something. Generic jump and shoot man. You'd have to understand. Yeah, like, Sergio's would be generic blue jump and shoot man. Yeah. Um, He's a friend of ours. <laughs> mine, you'd have to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Mine would be... Oh, man, this is actually pretty tough. Uh, man, currently mine is generic wars among groups of people, too. That's that's my current one. Mm. Um <laughs> which is mm. which is online. Um, that's that's the best we could do. Hopefully, you can figure it out. So you're saying it's? No, oh yeah, it's non Sega. I can't say PSO two. No, it's not. It's not PSO two. Uh, let's see. Aaron, dab, please. I need it for the views. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my son. I can't. I cannot do this. We put the dab beam inside the the dumpster fire. Aaron, what happened to the cursed shadow skinned GameCube? Okay. To hydrosity, two things. First. Um, that spelling of Aaron is reserved for Aaron from the Game Grumps, who is also a really cool dude and who totally loves Sonic and who totally loves eating cupcakes. Also, it's their fifth anniversary today, so happy anniversary to all the Game Grumps. And uh, uh, we really love your Unleashed playthrough you're doing right now. It's pretty good. <laughs> We've been watching Unleashed. Um, <laughs> mine, mine is A-A-R-O-M, but that's okay. It's A for effort. The Shadow Skin GameCube had coffee poured on it, as you may or may not remember. It is cursed. I think, I think it got left behind in the old Sega office or taken mm. home with someone. I think someone took it took it with them. Might have been Fabian, our, our German friend, when he left. That was years ago. I'm surprised you remember that. Kudos. Kudos for that. That's a deep cut. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> Do data disk go on the computer? <laughs> um, technically, a, what? a data disk could, but the data disk vinyl album is, in fact, a vinyl album like vinyl. When you buy the vinyl, you will get a code to download the songs digitally, is what I've been told. So you'll be able to get the music on your computer even if you don't own a vinyl record player. I mean... Hopefully that answers that question. I mean, unless your computer is some sort of weird device that has a record player built into it. I'd be... Actually, that'd be super cool. Can we, can we do that? I'm sure I'm someone has that. already done that. <laughs> and it is probably the most hipster thing ever. Amazing. All right, what else we got? Let's see... Aaron, I saw a Forces pre-order for 70 euro. Any words? We haven't seen that. Oh, we haven't I, seen that. That's news. That's news to us. So not aware of anything like that. It's probably placeholder. It might be placeholder. If you can, send us a link on Twitter. We'll, uh, we'll yep. check that out. See if we can look into it. Why do we call everything generic? Because the legal team will kill us otherwise. <laughs> we've, we've been directed to call things generic. That's, that's the rules. That's what we do. Let's see. Sonic Runner's Adventure News. That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, that that is being led by our mobile team, so we don't have any news on Sonic Runners Adventure right now, but um, we might in the future. Well, apparently they put out a trailer of some sort or it leaked out. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Well, that's unfortunately not ours, which sounds a little weird, but <laughs> that's that's our mobile team. But we'll certainly pass on yep. the request for information to you guys. What else have we got? Uh, someone's asking about uh, comic news. As we talked about, there will be some news on comics later this week. So stay tuned. Uh, hey, there's the Finn. 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 If you look in our, on the Twitch side, if you look at the little comment, like buttons down below, mm. Sonic is actually looking at three birds in the Emerald Hill Zone one. Mm. Is that a reference? I don't know. Probably not. I think it's just a glitch. <laughs> it's just, just randomly there. Yeah. Okay, we have six more minutes. Let's keep answering your questions. Yes, we have to do some Team Sonic levels. We'll, we'll do our very best. We have to go fast now. Answer we can for you guys here. Will there be stuff in Germany? Uh, I want t-shirts, ask somebody. There may or may not be some stuff in Germany. I know that the team in the UK is doing what they can. Uh, whether or not that's available throughout Europe, not 100% on yet, but we'll certainly pass along the request so that they know that you guys would love to see that kind of stuff. Sonic 3 on mobile. No news on Sonic 3 on mobile. The people that would have hypothetically been able to make Sonic 3 on mobile are working very hard and wrapping up on Sonic Mania. Yep. Same, same people. 
We hope you'll agree that Sonic Mania uh, will be well worth the wait. And uh, ah! oh, almost, almost had it. <laughs> it glitched through. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Sonic Adventure stream without something bugging out. <laughs> I don't, was that your? I think that was your fault, man. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and like freeze. I think I I think you just fell through the floor on that one. You got to be real good at this part. You gotta run up it. There you go, run up. There you go. And then, good, Ooh, close. Yeah, that was dangerous. That was real good. close. Yeah, you, you got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <it's> like, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I don't want to hit the walls because then oh. that happens. Ruins all your speed. Spin dash. There you go. All right, you're good. Yay. All right, safe. Good. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, Come on Tails. Tails. <laughs> Can you tell Hooray! me? We've played this level. <laughs> Tails, wait for me. What? I was just like, what? He's caught <laughs> up. <laughs> We're talking. Goodbye, we've, Tails. We've played this game way too much. That's what happens when you get all the emblems, guys. Some of you probably are right there with us. <laughs> there you go. You made it. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Will they be all more right, than, Tails. Than, than, uh, Will there be more 3D than 2D stages? Please respond. I'm guessing you're asking about Sonic Forces. We will talk about the like the ratio of 3D to 2D levels uh, for Forces as we go forward. But uh, since there are three gameplay styles, and Modern Sonic and the custom character are more of like the 3D style, like a Generations uh, style, then that uh, gives you kind of a good grasp on what you can expect. Hello. <laughs> is Monkey Tails pup. is Tails kill? Asks Lizard Life. He's probably totally fine. Probably. Maybe. How long have you worked for Sega? Is one of the questions that we just got. Sergio, how long has it been? Over a year for you. Yeah, it's about a year and a half nearing. Mm, is it quite that long? A year, a year and three months at this point? You started like March last year? March, yeah, and it's almost over nearing. Yeah. It's about a year, year and three months for Sergio. Um, cumulatively, probably like. His second tour of duty. <laughs> eight, eight or nine years uh, for me, something like that. Yeah, I think I'm like eight, eight or nine around this point. It's been a few. Just a few. Okay. Nice. Oh, 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 wow. I didn't know that trick. That's a cool one. I want to do that in front of Izuka-san. He'll probably just be like, why are you doing this to my game? He's like, stop breaking my game. <laughs> stop it. Not bad. Tails. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Someone says, can we get more Chow Garden? No news on a Chow Garden. We certainly pass on all the feedback requests for Chow Garden, and we would love to see more Chow ourselves. So, <laughs> Vac Band. <laughs> Vac. <laughs> oh, man. All right, since we were making fun of those things. Someone says, in the Spark Shepard and Animal Sonic Mania have a physical release. No news on a physical release for Sonic Mania right now. Uh, we'll continue to echo what we say every other week, which is we know there's a lot of demand for it. We've been passing on that demand for quite some time, and we will continue to pass on that demand. Uh, that we know people are out there that would love to see a Sonic Mania physical release. Um, I'm going to do this stage twice, because the first one's kind of boring. You have to get the 50 rings, and the second one gets more fun. Cause... Oh, the Tails one? Yeah. yeah. Todd the Gamer says, do you like your job, Aaron? <laughs> what a loaded question. What a loaded question. What a loaded question. So These are people that applied for the new position are looking to take you down. Ah, that could be. That could be. Well, it would, it would, it's a little bit lower anyway, so, <laughs> so it, it won't matter. Um... Generally, yes, and, and quite a bit. And that was the key thing for me was that I always wanted to go to Sega, and that was kind of like the, the dream job, you know? So getting the opportunity was, was really special, and, and I try to not forget that, you know, that like it's kind of like a lucky thing to get that opportunity. Mm. What I will also tell you is that there are moments, especially moments like, like this week when it's like we're getting ready for Comic-Con and there's all these things happening, and it's really stressful, and you're working like really long hours, or you're working from home, and putting panel stuff together and like getting it all ready, you know. So there there are moments when just like any job, it's stressful on you, but but that's going to be the case no matter where you go. That's whether you're working at retail or you're working at movies or video games or whatever. It doesn't matter what the job is. Um, so I would say it's it's got pros and cons like anything else, but I, I think it's really good and important to work and do what you want to do. It makes such a big difference. Absolutely. I feel the same way. It's, yeah, it does get difficult at times, but mm -hmm. you have to remember that this is pretty much a, a dream job for, well, probably a lot of people watching. So it's like, yep, we must live up to your expectations. So this is working in animation. Yeah, cool. Mm. Like, you know, um, there's a lot of people that we know, too, that, that do, you know, animation. And it's similarly very difficult. It's not easy to do. 
right, let's oh. do this one fast. Uh, doing it again? Cool. This one's easy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go into overtime for just a couple more right. minutes and answer some more questions. Let's not touch the stage ever again. Okay. Bye. You guys have had some good questions so far, so we'll keep answering a couple more here. That was a good one. Let's see. Is Mike Pollock an evil genius when you interact with him? He's an evil genius even when you're not interacting with him. That's true. Mike Pollock is is both evil and a genius. Yes. Just yes is the answer to that question. Can you do a fan game stream? Um, we'll have to look into that. There might be limitations that we have on streaming fan games. It doesn't mean we are not aware of them or maybe checking them out or thinking that they're cool personally, but from an official standpoint, we, we might have our hands tied as to what we can, can show off there. Hi, Sonic. What do we got here? Can you play Sonic R? Yeah, we get a Sega Saturn working. We can play some Sonic I R. I would love some Sonic R. <laughs> I have a copy back Or we get the GameCube and Gems Collection. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it is in Gems Collection. Now we get the multiplayer version. Yeah, that would work. That would work. Bye. Someone just typed my name in all capitals. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what else we got? Is Sonic Mania coming to Steam? Yeah, it's already up on Steam. You can uh, you can pre-purchase it right huh. now. <laughs> oh, there was actually a death plane there. There was a death plane there. You can pre-purchase it on Steam right now. It's already up there. I've seen people gifting it to their friends. So... It's there. Now it's not out yet, but you can you can get ready. Hello, Juniet Mia. Hi there. How are you? Let's answer more questions. Is Tails T A L E S coming to Sonic Mania? Is there another character named Tails that I don't know about? Uh, IGN seems to think so. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Sonic was never good, so I mean, yeah. you know, I mean it's just you know whatever. Well, it's whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. We're, we're making fun of people that may have said something that was a little bit not, not well thought out. Um, there you go. If you know, then you know. Uh, Tails, T-A-L-E-S, is there's a T-A-I-L-S in Sonic Mania. And you can play as him. So, yes. Tails. Ta Tales? Tales? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's actually a little uh, joke because if you look at the, I think it's the Mania gameplay footage, they list from from E3. Mm. They list in the description. You can now play as Sonic, Tails, T A L E S, and Knuckles, <laughs> and no one's fixed it yet. <laughs> Even though most of the comments are like, "Really, IGN? That's how you spell Tails?" Oh, they try. Man. They try. All right. We, we, had a, we had a fun interview with them at E3, and at least they they seem to they seem to get it in that interview. I think, which was good. Appreciated that. I thought they were they were nice there. Mm -hmm. um, maybe then. Maybe. Maybe some statements have been made that weren't the best thought out, given the history of the site and <laughs> the good reviews they've given quite a number of Sonic games, but that's okay. We're not here to talk about that. And it I wasn't, think, wasn't Green Hills on in Sonic 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Totally, totally was. Um, but that's something that we, we get as, as you know fans. But, oh my, Aaron, if the Sonic movie would be PG-13, could you make it a horror, drama, comedy, disaster, adventure? I'd like your thoughts, Aaron. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wh why not? I mean, just just, <laughs> just go for it. Sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. One or two more questions, and then we gotta go, guys, because we gotta get ready for Comic Con. If you're gonna be at Comic Con, by the way, we'll see you there. But we'll we'll get to that in a second. There we go. Let's see. see. PC exclusive items for Sonic Forces. No mm, news that we've heard of so. there. I think the the plan here is to try and not make things. Um, Limited for um, console. Favorite modern Sonic character. Favorite modern Sonic character. Mm. Mine's a toss up between Shadow before okay. he met his untimely end. SA2 Shadow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or Blaze. Blaze. Blaze is actually a really good one that I think doesn't quite get enough love these days. Like Blaze. Blaze was awesome in Sonic Rush. I would go with either Blaze or let me think. Chow. Chow. I think Chow count right. So. Uh. Not Big the Cat though. I'm surprised. Well, Big the Cat is the obvious. Big the Cat is the yeah, most appreciated. Uh, that's character. true. He's he's disqualified it's, because it's an easy one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everyone loves Big. We we all know that you guys would answer Big, and yeah. we ask your favorite character. Put him in Sonic Forces. <laughs> nah, we we actually can't put him in Sonic Forces because the the entire resistance is just Big the Cat. According to canon, Big's too OP and would take out Eggman's army pretty easily. Then there's no game. You've seen what he can do with just a fishing pole. Imagine yeah. what he can do with a weapon. It's ridiculous. He swings it or around. Wisp, there's explosions. In this case, everywhere. A wisp, a wisp on, as they're wisp called. Ons. They're yeah. not weapons. They're wisp ons. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's see. Aaron, any new Sonic Forces theme songs to look forward to? 
see what happens. Yep. Let's see. Let's see what uh, happens. We got there might be stuff coming up. Wallace S T J. See, you hablo español. Okay. And now I'm gonna get the food. Por qué? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late. No problem. You got here just in time. We're just getting started. And with that, it's time to wrap up. Oh, All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, will E3... Oh, oh, this is a really good one. Will Ooh. E3 posters be at Comic-Con? Yes. Hmm. Yes. The, the same poster designs from E3 are going to be available at Comic-Con. You guys can go there. You can get them for yourself. Um, maybe if they'll let you get some for your friends. Mm, maybe. You can, you can get the Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces posters at Comic-Con. So go by the booth, play Sonic Mania and Forces, pick up a poster. Can yeah. we get them Yes, you can. Um, there, I think I think this has been mentioned already. There is going to be a signing session featuring the Sonic Mania dev team and featuring Takashi Izuka, the head of Sonic Team, on Sunday at 11 o'clock. So a signing session Sunday at 11 o'clock. It's going to be uh, in the signing hall at Comic-Con, uh, and we'll have news on it uh, a little bit later. We'll, we'll post about it too, but you'll get it on like a pamphlet. If you go by the booth, you'll get a little pamphlet with some little Sanix in it. Uh, drawn by Jasmine. They're beautiful. And it'll have all the details on everything at Comic-Con, so check it out. We should post that up, the little pamphlet. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we might post parts of it. We'll, we'll keep it because it's a lot of information for us. It is post. true. It is it's, a... it's text everywhere. So, all right. I think that's everything that we've got time for today. We'd like to say thank you all for tuning in, for checking out the stream. We are going to be back, not next week, but the week after. Yep. So we'll see you in a little over two weeks, back on a regular Thursday schedule. It's going to be real close to the launch of Mania at that point. Oh, it's going to be so... We're going to be so really, really close, yeah. I think we might have to break tradition a little bit and for the Mania launch day, we should do a launch stream. I'd be down with that. Would you guys be down for a Sonic Mania launch stream? Tell us yes or no if you're if you're cool with us maybe doing a bonus episode. <laughs> Stay longer. <laughs> Stay, <laughs> Stay longer. No, there's too much to do, guys. There's too much to do. Let's see. Some yeses coming in on Twitch. There's some yeses from YouTube. Is that one guy that said no? Oh, that one guy. Oh, okay. That's, you tried, buddy. Uh, everyone else said. <laughs> All right. We will... Uh, that. Okay, you're good. Yep, we, we got it. We will plan on doing a Sonic Mania uh, launch stream. As long as things work out and stars align and nothing crazy happens, then we will we'll be there for that and uh, talk yes, to you guys. Yes, 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 yes. There's a lot of yeses. Okay, cool. Until I beat it. <laughs> Oh. We're gonna try not to spoil the game for you guys, just so you know. We want you to kind of experience it on your own. Yeah, a lot of a lot of mania has already been shown off. That's why you notice we've kind of like cooled down on reveals mm -hmm. uh, lately. There are still one or two more reveals coming up uh, before the launch of the game, but not not a ton more because we do want to leave some things to surprise you, mm -hmm. which is the goal. Can we end the stream with the hard boiled heavy music? Absolutely. I think yeah, right we now we that. have uh, Metallic yeah. Madness Zone going on from Sonic CD, Japanese version. Yeah. So, yeah. Once this is over, we'll go right into the hard boiled heavy stream. All right, so we'll wrap it up with that. If you're going to Comic-Con, we hope to see you there. Again, come check out Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces, both playable uh, on the show floor. I think we're right next to Nintendo uh, as far as our booth location. What, what does Nintendo even have? I mean, uh, Besides the Switch? Uh, <laughs> beside, besides and a, that, and a lot of awesome games. Besides that game with the very catchy theme song that everyone loves. <laughs> um, so we'll be, we'll be near them. Come, come check us out. I think you might be able to meet Sergio. If you go by, he'll be there sometimes. Uh, I'll be around, and if you're going to the panel on Saturday, I'll see you there along with the Mania Dev team. Uh, come check out the the concert happening Thursday night, technically a panel, but with musical performances by Jun Sinoe and Shota Nakama, and check out the Future Future and Tech Pavilion? Futurism Future and, and Tech, tech Pavilion? Tech there you go. Futurism and Tech Pavilion. <laughs> Futurism and Tech Pavilion, where we're going to have... That's a mouthful. Where we're going to have all sorts of cool stuff happening, including on Saturday, and the Ring Jump as well going to be happening there, and Glam Blow. As we, as we found it from Alex today. Get Lots of stuff. Painted blue. Lots of stuff going on this week. Sonic Mania is almost here. We, are, we hope you guys are excited for it. We are certainly excited. Longest month ever. <laughs> we're tired, but we're we're almost there. We wanted to come out so we can we can go crazy with you guys. Mm -hmm. There's so much cool stuff in there. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's what we've got today. Thank you all again very much for tuning in. Have an awesome Tuesday. And if you're going to be at Comic-Con, we'll see you there. See you guys. All right. Take care. And Bye. Gals. Bye. Farewell.